Welcome back to Chet Chet's RPA. We've got a question from Ricardo. Ricardo, this is one of my favorite questions. Socks and compliance. You know, how is RPA going to apply with that? How does RPA work with those functions? What you'll find is the compliance and the SOX folks are going to really battle you up front. They're afraid that once they automate it, they're going to lose their control. So in my prior life, I worked with SOX and audit folks, and it took them three weeks, a quarter, to come in and audit a process. Well, they were very much against me automating it because they thought they would lose that control when in fact they have much greater control. So that three weeks that it takes them to do that documentation, I give that to them in the form of my bot. And in this bot, it says exactly what the bot will do in every scenario the bot will encounter. Oh, and by the way, here are the log files out of Orchestrator, which have recorded every step that the bot has taken. So what you offer the SOX and the compliance folks is you offer them access to a report. And that report can tell them anything about the process that they want. They have the documentation, they have the log files, and they have a means by which to go in and look at specific records that they want to audit. What this does is give them the ability to continually audit that process if they so choose. The other thing that's amazing about automating uh, you know, SOX processes is now they can check every record. Historically, they have to go through and do a sampling because of the time restraints. When the bots are doing the math, you can check every record. So, Ricardo, thank you for that one. Thanks for sending your questions to hashtag ChetChatsRPA. It works on uh, Twitter, it works on LinkedIn, and we'll see you next time.